cellular signal boosters, where we've been and where we're going. Today's episode brought to you by Powerful Signal, Stronger Signal Solutions. Joining us today, we have Hung Tao Zan, the founder and CEO of CellPhoneMate, the manufacturer of the SureCall product, as well as Kevin Taylor, founder and CEO of Powerful Signal, a solutions provider to the cell signal booster industry. Thanks, Lee. Glad to be here and also glad to be here with Hung Tao. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. It's an honor to be here. I've been told, gentlemen, that today there are more smartphones in the world than there are people. We all expect to have cell signal everywhere that we go and be able to use our devices everywhere. How is this affecting your industry? Well, it's affecting powerful signals industry quite a bit. Um, we've been in business now about seven years or so, give or take, and we have seen the last few years with the advent of the smartphone becoming more and more popular trends changing in the cellular amplification industry. Well, when you started in the industry, Kevin, was the smartphone really even exist or affect your industry? No, it was the flip phone. It was the real dumb flip phone. Uh, things were simple back then. We used the cell phone mate product probably six years ago when they came out with their first single band product and life was was pretty easy and pretty easy to figure out as far as cellular amplifiers. Um, over the period of time We've gone to dual band, uh, we've used the, the cell phone mate product in dual band and tri band and now we're up to five band so things are a little more complicated now with data. The 4G data has really just catapulted the smartphone into a necessity rather than just a, a convenience of having a phone in your car or whatever. So with the onset of this data and 4G obviously is, is, is where the push is, how is this changing what you guys have produced and provided for the industry. It's data was voice. In the old days, it's all about the voice. Um, in the new era, it's more and more about the data. We know for sure voice over LTE is going to happen. When that happens, everything is data, period. Okay, so data is now the issue. With data being the primary and predominant concern with the industry today, what is Powerful Signal doing to address that and how are you guys moving your company into the future of this industry? Well, the, the characteristics of the whole, the whole shift are, has been homes, small businesses and buildings. The phone was a convenience to have. Now the smartphone is attached to business. It is part of business. It is business tool. It was, it's like the old Franklin planner. When you went into a business meeting, you had a Franklin planner, you opened it up, you had your notes, your contacts, you had your file folders with your correspondence. Everything was right there in your Franklin planner. Yeah, and if you were special, you had the big one. I had the big one. Well, I wasn't the special the though, but I had the big one. <laughs> Nowadays, this is your Franklin planner. You have your cell phone, you have your notes, your email, you have your data, you have your texting. Your whole world is this device and people will not give up this device. They'll give up their homes, they'll give up their wives, they'll give up their children before they give up this device. It's the last thing that they get rid of. Um, so that's been the, the whole shift in business. Before the big high-rise skyscrapers or the warehouses are all metal buildings, they have uh, low, low E glass windows, all of this stuff to reflect and, and inhibit cell signal from coming into the building. Six years ago, nobody cared because they were on the telephone. And they had a uh, cell phone was when they were out and about in their car or when they were someplace beside their desk. Nowadays, you're at your desk. You have to have your, your, your smartphone with you because it's, you're, you're dealing with your, your whole world is on that smartphone. I know that I don't even come on set without mine. So <laughs> I, I can understand how this is going to be a, a huge strain on the industry. Obviously, you guys use a, a lot of the cell phone mate product. Hung Tao, how is this affecting your ability to provide product to the industry? Big time. It's all about opportunity. Um, we're glad to be in the leading position um, in the 4G innovation. Mm -hmm. We are the first come up with all the 
4G products, be it single band, dual band, or five band. Most importantly, we invented force file. This is a one box solution cover all the carriers, all the standards, all the frequency in this country. So what you're saying is that this product you provided in the Force 5 now really gives you, Kevin, the ability to provide to your clients a simple, easy install product. Is that correct? Yeah, in the in, in business yes. world where you have, um, especially in the new bring your own device world, that's happened in the last, uh, I don't know, year or so where it used to be corporations would say, we're a XYZ carrier company, so here's all your phones, and here's your, here's your tools to use. Well, nowadays, companies aren't providing the devices. It's bring your own device. So you have AT&T, you have Verizon, you have T-Mobile, you have Sprint, whatever the person individually has. So it's not a matter of bringing one carrier signal into the building. It's a matter of bringing all the carrier signals. And this device here, that when SureCall or CellphoneMate came out with this new SureCall Force 5 last year, actually started making our life easier because now we could provide our customers with a solution that, that satisfied everybody. Before it was uh, a little bit of an engineering nightmare to get everything the way they wanted it and to cover all the carriers at a, at a cost-effective solution. Where now this cost-effective solution makes it to where uh, we can go into a small business, big business, and even large homes. We've even put some of these devices in extremely large homes where they have guests that come in and they just want everybody to have connectivity. You mentioned engineering. I understand that you guys are a full service provider to this industry. Can you tell me a little bit about what you do to take care of your clients? Well, when somebody calls in, whether a business or an individual, and they say, I have a problem, we have to evaluate the problem, figure out what the problem is. Um, there's a wide variety of, of, of issues there. We have to figure out the best equipment for them. So we have to have a scalable solution that can go into a single floor building or a multi-floor building, a vertical building or a, a thousand foot long building. And we have to be able to engineer those systems so that they perform properly. Just throwing equipment at the problem is not gonna handle it. You have to uh, be able to take in consideration all the carrier needs and the carrier towers and the carrier frequencies. You have to be able to make sure that you've got signal going through the proper walls correctly. Mm -hmm. Hospitals and other buildings might have very unique situations with uh, lead line walls or fire walls and things like that. So everything has to be taken care of and engineered properly. And above all, you've got to have the proper equipment and then uh, installed properly. So it's a sequence of events that Powerful Signal walks our customer through and that we provide from start to end a service to make that a successful project. So really what you're saying is Powerful Signal has put themselves in a position to become basically a one-stop shop for cell signal booster of any kind, any size, or in, in, in the industry. Is that correct? Exactly. If, you're on a, if you have a, a four-wheel drive Jeep and you want to go out in the sticks, we've got a solution for you. If you're a high-rise building in uh, New York City or L.A. or Chicago that has four or five floors, we've got a solution for you. If you're a warehouse out you know, at the outskirts of town that's got a lot of concrete and steel, we've got a solution for you. And uh, a good many of our solutions are the cell phone made products and the SureCall products. Uh, they've, they've worked with us. Uh, we've been with Hung Tao and his company now for, for six, six plus years. And uh, we've gone through the very simple single bands up into the dual bands. And uh, now we're, we're really glad that he's got the five band solution. Excellent. Now, I understand that there's changes coming in the industry that will affect everyone in this industry, from you to the manufacturer as well as the consumers. Uh, and these changes, if I understand it correctly, are being brought down by the FCC and they are being uh, expected to take effect March 1st, 2014. Hung Tao, I, I understand that you, as, as well as Kevin, have spent time at the FCC and you have been very proactive and instrumental in some of these changes. Can you tell us about those? Yes. Um, the new ruling from FCC basically um, tightening the spec for the signal boosters. Okay. And uh, in, in doing so, it make the device safer mm -hmm. for the network. Um, of course, nobody has the crystal ball, but we do know three things will happen. Mm -hmm. Number one, we know signal booster will be approved by all major carriers in the country, namely Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint. 
And when you say approved, uh, you're basically indicating that the signal boosters that are being produced by you are going to be automatically approved for use on those carriers' networks. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Matter of fact, any manufacturers who design and build the signal booster based on the new FCC spec mm -hmm. has to meet the, all the requirements and uh, the requirement is approved by carriers. Okay. All right. So you as a manufacturer at this point with the new rules really just need to meet the new specs. Once you've done that, you're automatically then approved by the carriers for use on their networks. That's correct. Okay. But remember, the new spec is pretty strict. Okay. Um, the second uh, thing we are predicting is after March 14th, there will be no interference issues whatsoever uh, with our industry. Okay. Uh, that that big worries that bother the industry for so long is going to be history. Okay. Um, the third thing we predict is the price of the device, all our devices, big or small, from any manufacturers, will go up. Okay. So basically then what you're saying is that We've got a couple of things happening here. One, we're, we're about to reach an era where we're going to be able to have a, a lot less concerns with the carriers and, and this particular industry as there's obviously been some you know, basic conflicts over the years. And in doing so, in the new regulations, we can expect to see as both for your company as well as the general public, uh, an increase in the cost of these kind of products. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, one way or the other, uh, not only in that, the performance will be less. Uh, effectively, government put a tax on our industry okay. for the good reason. Mm -hmm. um, what that means is this year and any time before March next year are truly the best time period to buy signal boosters for consumer and business. So realistically then, with this being a great time to buy products due to the fact that they're going to probably cost less than they will in the future, um, that must mean that you guys are quite busy right now and, and uh, trying to get the public to understand now's the time to get these systems put together. Is that correct? That's a true statement. We're able to use a um, little bit higher performance equipment that will be changed down into more of a prosumer, consumer kind of classification. We're able to use that in, in uh, larger buildings. That's not to say that we, we aren't gonna, we're not gonna be inhibited after March 1st of solving anybody's problem. It's just gonna be with a new set of equipment. And that's a little bit of, a, um, a little bit of an area that we don't 100% understand because the new equipment hasn't been released yet from the FCC. All the manufacturers like Self-O-Mate and Wilson and other, other vendors are, are in the process of moving their equipment through the FCC approval cycle and none of it has come out the other end yet so we don't really know what we're going to be working with. However, we've done our, our tests and we've done our, uh, I'd say, experiments and we've determined that the kinds of buildings we've been doing, uh, the, the business buildings, the warehouses, the distribution centers, things like that, are not going to be affected. Uh, we'll just be using a different kind of equipment. And the nice thing about the equipment is, is that it's all, gonna be all pre-approved by the carriers. So that will take a little bit of the question and answer away from the process of, you know, is this equipment approved by the carrier? Uh, in the past it's been, well, it just depends on all these variables. Well, now the variables are all predefined and they're already satisfied. The specifications are stricter, the equipment is, uh, better performing with carrier, with carrier protection and tower protection. So the, the systems ought to be able to be moved in quite, quite easily into bigger locations. Excellent. So we come from a history of flip phones, bag phones. I still remember the one that I carried had a battery and I thought it was pretty special to be able to pack it around anywhere to a device now that has my basic entire world and, and, and the business that we do every day in it. Um, Thank you guys for joining us today and sharing where we've come from, 
Hung Tao, where are we going and what the future holds uh, for the cell signal booster industry. For more information about these products, the Force 5 and the Triflex, you can visit our website at gizmochat.com or our sponsor's website at PowerfulSignal.com as well as SureCall.com.